<laughs> I was gonna say, don't, don't really have to do any talking, you can just put it together. Yep. Yeah, we need a heckler to go with <laughs> So there's the holes. They're pre-piloted, so you know exactly where your screws are gonna go into it. The nice part is you don't come out the bottom. So I'm getting ready to assemble. By not coming out the bottom, that means I'm already working off a perfectly flush surface. Now to assemble, you can take the clamp, you can clamp those two boards together, line it up where you want it, take your screws, put the screws in the hole, and assemble it together. Or you can get into a clamp table, it just makes life even easier. See with this here, now I'm working off a perfectly flat surface. So now I can take my clamp, clamp that into place there. And you know you've got a perfect right angle all you've the time. You've got a perfect right angle for it. These are a self-tapping screw. So with that notch there, I don't even have to pre-drill the other side. All I have to do is slip that into the hole here, slip that into the hole there. It's a fine thread because I'm using oak. If I were using pine or any softwoods, it would be a coarse thread. And then just drive it home. And that's it. There you go. Beautiful. You're assembled, ready to start building. Awesome. Freud. It's new in Canada. We have a 10 inch by 90 tooth and a 12 inch by 100 tooth. Now what's unique to this blade is actually the tooth geometry. The actual face of the carbide is angled and they're angled in opposite on each tooth and it's a very high alternate top bevel. So it, when cutting wood it actually does like a shear sure, motion. Cash, so your, your cut quality is phenomenal. Good. Uh, we've got both of these on promotion today. Excellent. Okay, thank you. Okay, well this is the K-Body. The idea of the K-Body is it gives you even clamping pressure from here to here. So let's say you're laminating material. You're laminating four pieces of material, it'll pull it perfectly square. You won't get the raised bow out of it or anything like that. It comes with these new protection pads so that you can go white melamine veneer without it rubbing on the bar. Nice. You can take this apart, uh, take the end piece off the foot pad, it just keeps it nice and level when you're working with it, but you can take that off, turn it into a spreader or a pusher. Okay? All right, very nice. The other one I wanna show you is a click clamp. Ooh. It weighs less than a pound. It is, uh, maxes out at 330 pounds of pressure. For the guys who have a hard time turning, you know, arthritis or whatever, this works just like this. There's 330 pounds of clamping pressure. Not bad. The other thing about this clamp with the ratchet style, uh, grinding, cutting, uh, routering, anything with vibration, this clamp will not release, whereas sometimes with a spindle, the vibration will cause it Yeah, to gonna go loose a little bit. Very cool. And that's it.
has actually been conditioned with a wood conditioner, which is this red can here, All right. and then stained with the espresso color. And then what I'm going to do is put on the first coat of uh, oil modified water base here. All right. So I'm putting a, a water based product over top of an oil stain. So oh, this really? is one of those things that everybody kind of thinks is not something that can happen. Yeah. Because of the technology of this product, it is actually an oil. Uh, modified water base, it Isn't will actually bond to it. And we made our formula so that they actually bond from one to the other. Now, when you're putting this on, what yeah, you're seeing here something. is I'm going from the dry to the wet all the way across. What this does is it allows you to put on thin coating without any excess on the surface. And you go all the way across, once you get to the end, you tip it off, as much brushing as you should do. Isn't that something? Like, like yeah, there's no no beading or anything like that. No, that's that's amazing. Puts on a nice thin uniform coat. Again, what you do is you start off, you establish a wet area. Whenever you lay a brush down on the surface, it always leaves a puddle, right? Right. So never take that puddle right to the corner, right to the edge. Unload out here and then bring it from the edge in. Ah. Once you've got, you've established your wet area, then you take your brush and go from the dry into the wet. If you put your brush down here, what you're going to do is leave a puddle right there, right? Yeah, yeah. So then when you go to get rid of that puddle, you're going to brush your surface about three or four times to get rid of it. What that does is put a lot of air in the surface and speeds up the dry time so you don't get the, the film to flow out the way you want it. So oh. instead of you put it out from the wet to the dry into the wet, all the way across, just reload as you need it. Oh, okay. I know, see, I've never thought of trying that before. Once you get to the end, Tip it off. You overlap your tip off on your wet edge there with about a quarter of your brush width. Tip it off all the way across. And it just smooths it right out. Take your next pass. Do the same again. What are we doing here? Well, we are going to demonstrate today our new product called the Overtime Blade. This Ooh. is the Overtime Blade. Nice. It works overtime, so you don't have to. Sweet. It features a thin kerf, deep gullets. Mm. And kind of a heel here to kind of temper your, your depth. And uh, it's a fast cutting blade and it's going to retail for about $7.99. All right. This is the uh, newly introduced Excalibur uh, router table system uh, by General International. What we've done is devised a router lift designed to carry a three horsepower router. In its design we've used the same uh, technology or setup as used in a large 15 inch floor planer. That is using a uh, four post system and a chain drive so with one crank you're able to raise and lower your router in and out of the table. Another thing that we've done that's exceptional is we've introduced our router system using a cast iron top. The logic here is when you take an 11 pound lift and you put a 17 pound router in it, if you use any of the other substrates being phenolic, being uh, uh, MDF, what you'll find day one, you, it will give you a perfectly flat table. As time goes on, under the weight of those, uh, the lift and the router itself, you will get some fatigue and it will lose its flatness. Mm -hmm. So what we try to do by introducing the cast iron is gives you that perfectly stable, stub stable substrate that won't allow uh, any movement in the, in the top over the years. Other things that we've developed on this system is a dust collection system. Still a complete box mounted up underneath the table. It gives you access through the front door to your router and on the back side what we have is a dual system of dust collection where your four inch uh, dust collection, uh, uh, four inch hose is attached to this import here. It's split here which carries the two and a half up to the router bit itself. So you're not only capturing the dust out of the, uh, the box itself, you're also taking it off the table surface. Very nice. So thank you for showing me. These are a few of our product lines. This is the Mega Pro. This is made down in the States. Uh, all 15 in one. Bits right in the handle. They won't fall out. 
they're all made with a bearing inside them, so when you slip them in the end, they will not come out ever until you're ready to pull them back out. The handles on these are virtually indestructible. Nice. And you can do a couple different things with it too. They've got the fingertip control here and then the end does spin so you're not going to get any blisters or anything. Yeah. Right. Lots of different bits for those. They're guaranteed for life. Nice. CMT's been around I think now for about 40 years. Uh, they're from Italy. A complete line of saw blades and router bits all using the highest grade carbide, carbide on the market. Uh, Black Rhino is a line for the tradesmen. Everything from hammers and wrenches to pry bars, uh, helmets, gloves, everything. Our glass line. These are CSA approved safety glasses and we call them our safety readers. There's five different types of magnification strengths that you can get for those. Nice. And coming over here is our Garland line. These are made down in the States too. These are actually uh, rawhide made from water buffalo. Oh really? Uh, they're non-marring. They will last a lifetime. You can, you can hit them on corners of steel and they'll reform, take their shape again. They'll never lose their shape. So there's like self-healing. Self-healing. Nice. I wish I was. <laughs> um, Kristen is a line of helical insert repair. Anytime you have a damaged thread, instead of replacing the part or the machine, right. you can just tap out the damaged thread, tap in a new one, and, and really? put the coil back in. Well, that's good. A lot cheaper. Sure would um, be. Bosch and Lom, all magnifiers, any kind of magnifiers, hand hand magnifiers, lit magnifiers, rulers. And our last line we have is the Bondus. That's an American-made hex key company. They've been around for about 50 years. And they have everything, the highest quality hex on the market. They have everything from screwdrivers to T-handles to fold-ups like these for bicycles and motorcycles. And That's handy. Okay, thank you very much.